I'm doing a review video for a cosplay. Um, I ordered it from Doki Doki Cosplay because um, they're pretty well known for like having high quality cosplay products. And so I was like, hmm, what if people are curious to know about this specific cosplay and whether or not they should get it if they're thinking about getting it. So I'm here to answer your question. I ordered the Yelan R quality um, cosplay. There are two R quality products for her, but um, I ordered this R quality version um, and not this one. I'm not sure what this one is like, but I ordered this one because this was the only one on the website at the time because I ordered it like around the time when they first released it and I have, I have made adjustments to the cosplay, by the way, and I'll be talking about that in the video. Um, so yeah, I'll just let you know if I like changed anything, I'll point it out. So yeah. I'm gonna start off with her jacket that she like wears on the back, on her back. Um, this is what it looks like. Yeah. The, um, like, did you see this little part right here? This is really cool because all of this is, like, embroidered into the fabric. And it's really pretty. Like, yeah, and it's really thick, too. So that's nice. And this, too, as well, is also embroidered in. And this, as well. I think it looks really pretty. So, yeah. And all that, but this fabric too is really nice. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but... Like, it's really pretty. Um, yeah, and then on the back here, there's this. Which is also embroidered. And it's thick. And I think there might be like a foam interfacing in, like, in this right here. Because on the back you can see it. So that is really nice. Um, and then there's like these beads right here that are really pretty. Yeah, I think they're just... I think they're glued... No, they're sewn on. They're not glued on. Yeah. And then there's this that came with it, but it came separate. You can see there's like a... Like a clasp right there that you're supposed to put it. Um, and I'm not going to take it off because I don't feel like doing that. But yeah, it just like hooks on. And of course there's like metal accessories right here and then there's this as well which is i think it's plastic it's probably plastic um this little like gem this is metal though like this little thing right there this as well yeah so that's her jacket um her jacket like it attaches to you like it doesn't attach to the costume because she doesn't have any like fabric on her shoulders so they have these um they have these um clear straps that you like hook onto the jacket like right here that's on one side and then there's another on the other side and then you just like hook it on there and then you put it on kind of like a backpack almost so yeah her actual like outfit is a bodysuit like there's not two pieces it's a full thing that you put on um hold on i'm actually gonna stand up and It's like a full bodysuit type thing. Um, and the adjustments that I made to this, I made a couple adjustments to it just to like fit me better and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna start off with like the chest area right here. Um, originally, it says in the description on the product, um, on the website, it says that the uh, cup area is like adjustable to all body types. And they are definitely correct about that because you can see it, like, I, I did this terribly, but I machine sewed this to the cup. Um, and I know for anybody who's, like, experienced in, like, sewing, you're probably getting so mad at me for using black thread. Because that stands out and it looks so bad. Um, 
So yeah. And of course I did it on the side too. But before I redid it, before I re-sewed it, this like fabric right here, this layer, um, I'll show you the back side. You can see like this is the cup and then this is the fabric. I sewed that here, but before I sewed it, it was completely separate. So the cup only like attached right here. So for anybody who had like a, like a bigger size, it would adjust to your body. But what's bad about that is that it wouldn't stay. You would have to keep putting it back into place. So if you're planning on buying this, I definitely recommend like sewing it like this, like the way that I did. But it was a little hard to do because the cups are very, like they're foam. So it was hard to sew through and like get it to look right. Especially since like the cup is like, it's not just like straight fabric. It's like a curve on your body. So you can't just like sew straight down and hope that it looks good. Cause I did that the first time I cosplayed her, which was like a while ago. And then I fixed it into this. Um, and it did not look good at all. Like it made it like it didn't follow my body shape. It just like was like boxy. So yeah, if anybody you know is like decent and knows how to sew, you can get them to do it. It's kind of easy. It's very simple. Just you know, curve the curve the fabric to the size of the cup and to how you want it. So yeah. And how I did it was I put it on my body and then I took like some pins. And then I just pinned the fabric and then I took it off and then I sewed it. So yeah, it does take a lot of patience though. So yeah, that's not something that I like though, is that I had to fix that. Cause if I didn't, then it just would not have worked out. So yeah, but that's all though, in terms of like things I really don't like. There's a couple things that I'm not really happy with on this costume. But that's the main thing, because if I didn't fix that, then like I couldn't go to a con wearing it like I like that, so I had to fix it. Anyways, um, <clears throat> like the pants, which this is like her left leg. There's this um sheer fabric that's like skin tone, but it's really pale. It does not match my skin tone at all. So it kind of looks funny, especially for those of you who are, you know, more on the tan, darker. Um, side so that's a little awkward but at least it's not completely open because if it was then whenever you would bend your leg like the f like the fabric would just flap open and expose your leg so yeah this also came with the cosplay um it's just another one of those hooks that you hook on it's metal so that's really cool and these are pearls sewn onto the side of the costume. They're not real pearls, obviously, they're just plastic, but yeah. And then again, more embroidery, and this is really pretty. As you can see, it's like glittery. And yeah, her pants are like this like shiny fabric. I think it's vinyl. It is stretchy, um, not extremely stretchy, but um, it works like you can like sit down in it and stuff and it'll be fine um and then on the side of her leg towards the bottom there's these little charms sewn on there so yeah and then like in her hip area like right at her hips um it is open right here which does bother me a little bit um, I would have liked it if they had included like the sheer fabric because even if you're like not pale This does expose your body um, and you definitely have to wear something underneath it so That does bother me a little bit Not only that but whenever you were to like bend down it would like open up and whatever so yeah um, On the other side it doesn't have that though. It's just sheer fabric just like how she is in the game yeah, and this is also sheer fabric right here on her leg. So yeah, uh, maybe like get some skin tone biker shorts and wear something underneath that would probably work. Um, and then for like her neck piece, this right here is um, safety pinned on there and it comes like this. But the thing is that 
this was a necklace at one point that attached to this but um it was attached by clasps and the clasps came undone and it like broke kind of like I could have fixed it but I just decided to um sew the pearls to the costume itself to stop it from breaking um I hand stitched that I don't know if you can see the stitch but yeah I hand stitched these uh yeah and then I just kept it here so I think that's a lot better instead of it being a necklace because if you're like walking around jumping up and down like at a con it could easily just break and you would be unaware so yeah and it's really pretty and i don't want to lose that so i just went ahead and hand stitched it it doesn't go all the way around though it only goes like that because of the fact that um it used to be a necklace i kind of took off some of the material um but that's okay because if it did go all the way around then it would probably get caught on your wig so and the neck piece does open up and like attach around your neck with like some snaps and they just like they kind of just like snap shut yeah um at the front like right here underneath your chest this is also sheer fabric just like how in the game um I don't think there's any problem with this at all. This is perfectly fine for me. It might be different for you. Yeah. And then there's this fabric, which goes in the front. And this is her legs. Uh, this is really pretty fabric. This is also embroidered on there, which is really pretty. Um, you can see like the design on it. That's really pretty and it's really soft too and just nice uh this is also like embroidered on there obviously the embroidery is really pretty it's really shiny and glittery obviously i think it looks really nice so yeah on her left hand she does have a fingerless glove um and basically you just like put it on like a normal glove it's also made of vinyl and it is elastic or like stretchy so that's good and then uh this just like you wrap it around and there's like another snap and it snaps right there and then you have a glove and then it also comes with this like bracelet um there's also snaps that attach it this is all like interfaced with this uh pretty not interfaced with this but there's this like pretty um, holographic, holographic, I think that's what it's called, but yeah, whenever it's, like, in the light, it changes colors, so I think that's really pretty, and then it's interfaced with foam on the back to make it thick, um, yeah, and then you just, like, put it on your wrist right here, and then you snap it, yeah, and then there's more, um, embroidery right there, yeah, as you can tell, there's, like, more glitter right here, I think it looks really pretty. And then on the back side of the vinyl, uh, the same thing is for like the vinyl on the pants of the bodysuit. It's like, um, it's like fabric. You can't really see it on camera, but it kind of feels like the fabric that you have like on a swimsuit. Um, it's like stretchy, but it's like soft. So it's not like, um, it's not like it's gonna like stick to your skin like latex or anything. Um, moving on to other accessories. Um, her other glove. Uh, it goes on her right arm and it's basically just like this long sheer elastic glove and it goes on her arm right here. And this basically just like folds over like that. And this goes on the inside of your arm right here and then you put it on yeah and it goes up to like about right here and it's sheer and it's a glove but the other part of this is this which looks weird um but she does like have this half glove this is like an arm guard so you wrap it around and there's snaps 
like right here to put it in um to keep it on your arm and then it looks like that and then this is like an elastic band to keep the like half glove attached and then you just like stretch it and you put it on and then put the thumb in and yeah that's that this is what her bracelet looks like it's blue obviously plastic this is painted at the front like gold and then back here you can put batteries in it and you can make it light up there's a switch right here i don't know what batteries you put in this and then to put it on you just like kind of slip your wrist through like that and then yeah that's that but i noticed that you can bend it back a bit and take this plastic part off like that but it scares me when i do that because i'm worried i'm gonna break it so i don't do that but if you want to do that you could easily just like like if it doesn't fit your wrist you can do that very carefully put it on and then put it back yeah um, but yeah, I don't recommend doing that because it does make me nervous. I'm very worried that it's going to break because it's not the type of plastic that's easily bendable. It's the type that if you bend it too far, it will snap in half. So yeah, but um, I've seen photos of this bracelet lit up and it looks really pretty. So hopefully I can get batteries for this. And maybe if I ever bring her to a con, that would look really cool. Her vision is really cool. Like, this is like cast in metal and it's really cool. It's really pretty. And then she has this like tassel attached to it. That's really nice. And then on the back, there's more like battery packs. Well, one singular battery pack and um once again i do not know what type of batteries go in here oh okay well i'm looking at it now i'm opening this and it does look like there's those really tiny like circular batteries that go in there two of them i don't know what they're called and then uh there's a snap right here um because her vision goes on her left hip there's a snap right here. And then you just like kind of snap it in place. And then it holds, but the bad thing, like I said, is because of there's like this opening right here and not like sheer fabric, it basically just like falls down. But it did come with like, an, like a clear strap. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it did come with this clear strap that basically attaches to a hook inside the costume and i used it like that at first but the hook just kept coming undone um and i thought it was really weird so i just cut it off because i never used it um but there is a safety pin right here as you can tell and i just attached that to the top part of this fabric right here because it's on the bottom fabric and then i just like attach it like pin it to the top fabric And then it's pretty all right. I mean, I'm not gonna pin it right now because I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a pain, but it does work for me. And it also keeps it closed fairly. Like let's say it is pinned right now, as you can tell, it's kind of close. It's not like that, so yeah. And she has earrings, which is really cool because you don't really see that many Genshin characters with earrings. I mean, you do, but like, not all the costumes come with the earrings, you know what I mean? Um, this is what they look like. Uh, I did change them from how they originally came. Uh, they originally came like this. Like, ignore the hook right here, because I added that. But it came like this, and then on the back, there was like a clasp on earring glued to the back of this. But my ears are pierced, so I just went ahead and took that off, because 
they are kind of heavy because there is this gym inside of it and they're kind of heavy so i do find that like walking around like maybe at a con they will fall off because i was walking around in my room and they did slip off and i'm like oh i should probably change that into a real earring so even though it's supposed to look like this on your ear um i couldn't attach a real hook to this because there's nothing to attach that to so i just went ahead and just attached it to the little like bearing right here to a hook now whenever i wear the earring it's not going to fall out and this little like charm right here hangs down and i think it looks pretty it's obviously not like canon but for the most part the wig will cover it um especially on this side because her hair covers this whole side of her face you'll probably only be able to see like the bottom of the earring um but on this side she does have her hair tucked behind her ear and braided so you will be able to see that but to be honest i don't think really any anybody will care like the last accessory she has is a little like hook i don't know what this is called um but it basically just like hooks like this on your ear it really just hooks like that and it looks really pretty that's all her accessories and one more thing i do want to discuss about her outfit is the back of her outfit um i didn't really discuss this but there is a zipper right here that zips up the back because she does have an open back um but it zips up right there and then this part just kind of co covers the zipper um but right here it comes with like this really thick uh plastic strap and there is like places to put the strap right here and then a place to put the strap on the other side and whenever you're putting on the cosplay whenever you have the back zipped up and it on you basically just like put this around your back and then hook it in on the other side and because it's plastic there is friction and it holds like the costume up without the sides like coming out and revealing your back completely um so yeah and then there is another piece of there's another clear strap attached right here and then it basically just like comes around and there's this really tiny like ribbon right here um right here yeah right there and it just like hooks right there and it holds the back even better um so yeah so that's pretty much it 